Okay, hi everyone. Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, because everybody joined from different region. And thanks very much for joining and shows your support uh, uh, for this topic. And uh, definitely, it's uh, really one of the topic that uh, we among our friends or our junior seniors are keep discussing nowadays. So I'm very much positive that you will get some understanding, knowledge, and awareness throughout the session. So we are starting now. So just to give you a heads up, uh, this the the whole focus on this would be to have a overall very general discussions uh, about ERPs, uh, in particular about like current trends and future trends, and very specific to the business factors and uh, project execution. So these are the two topics we are covering. And we are planning to have some more session where we can cover different aspects like technical trends, or we can uh, you know discuss on the career uh, guidance. So we hope we are hopeful that in future we will have some more webinars where we can cover more specific and more diverse topic. So right now this the today's topic will be on the business factors and project execution. Uh, I hope everybody can hear me. Uh, in case if you know there is some uh, some problem, it could be because we are using free tool. But I'm hopeful uh, that uh, you able to hear my voice and see my screen. Um, if you able to see my screen and able to hear my voice, just uh, uh, type yes in chat window. And as a ground rule, we will use a chat window for taking questions also because. More, most of the discussion in this webinar will be one way communication where either me or uh, any one of the expert will be talking and most of us will be in the listening mode and i hope you understand because we have almost 58 people joining and uh, and if we turn on everybody's uh, audio it would be a little bit uh, noisy okay thanks very much everybody to confirm on audio part so just to give a perspective, uh, you know, you you may know or most of people know that I, uh, you know, kind of manage online uh, community on Facebook or through WhatsApp. Uh, we give a name as No Oracle, where we try to help uh, our fellow professionals, friends in their. Um, okay. So we we keep uh, you know sharing knowledge or helping each other in terms of. Uh, hands-on uh, topics, not necessarily on the career or on the certification side, but mostly on the day-to-day -day issues, day-to-day -day problems. Uh, so along with the, I able to you know get a get connection with some of some of the very senior and very expert people in Oracle ERP, uh, from EBS backgrounds to cloud experts. So it's like a very diverse. Uh, kind of expert so along with them uh, we will have this uh, webinar where they will share their perspective their understanding their knowledge on current trends and what they see as future trend so we get both the ideas like what currently things are going on and how they think uh, future would be so we can make our understanding and make ourselves prepared for future whether in term of project execution or business factor these are the two topics today uh, more topics we will discuss in future and just to give some idea, this this webinar is most uh, you know people toward who are they transitioning to cloud or they just transition and they have you know little bit uh, uh, sort of doubt or questions in mind. Uh, if you already working in cloud, then you may find uh, not you may not find very useful. Or if you really starting your career, you may find little bit uh, you know more information than what you can consume. But that's fine. So let's move ahead. So today, just a, as a guideline, uh, everybody is on mute. We'll use chat window and anything. If you trouble sh have troubleshooting, send me message. I will try to see in between. Okay. So just to give introductions, I'm sure you know these three people. If not, uh, they are very senior people. They are expert in their domain as well as in their technical areas also. So Tarun, Tarun comes from Felix Consulting. He is very well known veteran expert in Oracle ERP. Very diverse experience uh, and different domain, different uh, tools. Uh, Neeraj, Neeraj is very much uh, expert in his work 
and he will be showing lot of uh, information from his side jairam uh, i hope he joined i think he was having some problem so we will we'll discuss with jairam also so three people uh, i will be driving today's discussions today's topics and uh, i will be helping uh, as a bridge between you guys and uh, these expert to taking questions or coordinating any other uh, help required so i will ask neeraj uh, to take control and then neeraj will share his screen and will drive discussion further so neeraj i am just trying to make you unmute first so neeraj can you speak something hey hi hi shiv hi so can okay, you so make me think, yeah i am making you presenter and i am stopping my screen sharing and see if you can share your screen as well as uh, webcam if you no can you try once more yeah yeah i do you can see now Can you see my screen now? No, not yet. Can you share again? Oh, uh, that 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 particular icon is missing. Okay, let me make it present again. you can, can see now right yeah oh, great thanks okay so i'm going to start uh, so uh, first of all uh, good day to everybody and there are some uh, some guys who has already joined from us so good morning to them and uh, good evening to everybody who is uh, who has already uh, joined from india or dubai or uae middle east so uh this particular specific uh, uh, webinar is specifically for just to give you some introduction for uh, uh, release 12 versus uh, oracle cloud the main main thing is that we just need to understand about uh, the difference between uh, on premises and cloud and there should be some questions general questions about security that are so many questions you can see from uh, uh, client side so uh, if we are talking about like oracle neeraj can you see okay now yeah neeraj you you you're sharing your screen right yes 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 yeah okay thank you okay okay friends so uh, first of all i just wanted to uh, give my introduction uh, i have a total years of uh, 26 years of experience in uh, uh, overall experience and relevant experience you can say that more than 20 years and uh, this is specifically only in oracle products so i have started from my, my career uh, from abs 11.5.10.2 and i have seen all the journey from release uh, 12 versions and i have seen the journey from fusion starting for us my very first project was uh, in the release 5 and that was an on premises in europe and we struggled a lot and uh, till release 8 we faced a lot of issues and release 9 was stable now we are working on release 13 so it is so much i think can i can say that too much is stable and order management is also introduced in release 11 but it was now uh, in in a good work in uh, in release 13 only so i have approximately done more than 20 end to end implementations uh, uh, approximately uh, maximum industry is like for manufacturing retail global education and just for just for give you some 
uh, uh, just for first examples, like for manufacturing, I was working for American Excel Manufacturing, that is uh, the main uh, company who gives uh, everything to J General Motors. Uh, retail is like for Shalub, that is in Dubai actually. You know, it's a renowned, renowned name. Global education is PSN, VOU. Uh, generally, if you take a certification or a certification, you have to go for uh, PSN. Financials I have done a lot of different, different. Now, currently, also, we are working on GHL, that is the e payment gateways in uh, uh, Malaysia. Oil and gas services, they like the Schlumbergers and all. I have done that, that is a Smith and Company and Schlumbergers. So we have done a lot of, so it means like you can, you can say that multiple industry, I know very well that for each and every industry have a different, different scenarios, different flavors in ERPs. And we have done a client handle from 20 now, now it's a 27 count, it goes to one plus more, it's a 27 countries I have already completed with a different, different clients. So first of all, uh, because uh, as, as we had expectation, I'm just going to set it that we are just only uh, here uh, talking about business factors and the second one is for project execution. The reason is like I have seen there are some chat, uh, chat boxes filled up with the, some technical questions. So this technical, uh, earlier we were thinking of that one, but uh, I think maybe probably that we are going to uh, going for the second webinar with the technicals, obviously, like you can join that one also. But currently, in this section, actually, we are just uh, talking on business factors and project execution. Now, what is business trend? If you if you see in 2018 is starting and maybe like ending of the 2013 uh, 2017 onwards, you can see that there are a lot of like uh, uh, digital. Uh, marketing and digital uh, scenarios well uh, like products are automatically pop up in our smartphones and all now there are some uh, uh, some points I have just tried to collect like for artificial intelligence generally what happened that we always see in this way that uh, artificial intelligence is, means like it means like this is uh, going to remove so many jobs manual jobs and all and we will, we are like unemployment will be increased, but this is not true. Actually, what happened that you can see it is actually helping us as a as a person as a labor. We know very well that if if somebody a machine can do or some software can do some work, it is helping actually us. Yes, it is nothing to do with unemployment. Even it is creating more jobs. So if you see uh, now each and every company having a separate. Uh, practice is called digital solutions or digital marketing and so and so. So when we are talking about artificial intelligence, currently like you can see the Google Google map and Google sites and Google drives. So generally what happened that they are collecting some data from real time consumer data and that they are distributing. Now there was a lot of hue and cry to understand that okay this is my personal identity, why, why somebody is uh, uh, thefting it. Yes this is correct. But the, but But if you go for uh, in depth, we are giving uh, we are giving uh, uh, like uh, our acceptance to okay fine you can share it because we never go and see that what is the terms and condition when just click on yes ag agreed just to download everything. So we are the only persons we have already given and there are some some uh, crooks and some guys the smart guys are already already there. So yes I can understand. So now. Slowly, slowly, in the digital uh, solutions also, we are we are more uh, we can see that we are more employed and we can understand the, what exactly the problems are going on. Now, if you if you are talking about the second second that is the community embraces live interactions over social media. So this is like what happened the relationship through smartphones. You can see now there are a lot of apps, right? In Oracle also they have already coming with the social. So when we are talking about like Oracle uh, Fusion. ERP. So we have a, a something content called social. It means like internally, if you want to interact with your uh, with your internal employees, and and uh, maybe like you want to talk your or maybe like your manager want to talk uh, to to so, some subordinate or you want to talk to colleagues also. In fusion in ERP real time you can talk. Suppose maybe some purchase order is, is stuck somewhere, but you want to change some uh, jail code combinations or maybe something. Uh, not not right. You are not going to approve it without some making changes. You just go and just chat it. So this social media is also like it is not 
only and only for public this is also uh, became private also within my company whatever the cloud i have purchased it can work like as a public cloud also it can work as a private cloud also so we can we can talk uh, uh, that particular thing in the uh, coming slides also now now the third point is like millennials welcome generation z now what is this uh, the, this means like the the persons the guys who born after 1998 so so there is a lot of difference between before 1998 and after that because we can we in 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 before that we have seen only tv it's a very very rare type of things for everybody and all the like public mall lives are just working on uh, one tv and everybody was seeing uh, gathering like this but now after 1998 we have seen a lot of changes it's a revolution type of digital revolution and approximately as a as a survey it's 70 million uh, guys are available who has who has all the details like for for each and every things like whatever we are looking in the television we are just looking at the ad we are looking at the app social apps and all we are just just you can see in the facebook you have you have seen all the brands are working based just behind us we do not want to see even then some some pop ups are coming up okay this particular brand so these are like smart companies who are changing changing with the uh, them with the employees or selling as a consumer and all so it means like when when we are changing these young uh, young boys and girls it means like we we know very well that uh, today this particular person is my consumer going forward maybe probably this person can be my employee but currently uh, And all all the all the companies are looking in this way so it means like smart companies are also working in this way and brand is also working behind that and obviously like in the fourth point like wages and modes modes more on the rise yes obviously like if, if we can see approximately like 3% in the overall world uh, the the wages are already employed uh, increases and the unemployment is also decreases but just because of these uh, revolutions actually the next one is like social learning outperform a remote learning so we have seen that now we can uh, suppose we, i i'm working from home so earlier earlier days that everybody do not want now that the companies also want okay if I, you just take a laptop from me and just work from home thing is that this is uh, like online courses and so many things we can do like this like live meeting sharing experience like right now we are doing this this meeting is i'm just taking from home okay so it means like yet these type of live meetings we can whatever we have uh, done in my my previous projects i can share these things with you so this is also one thing that this is making a life easy live with streaming videos content you have seen that uh, nowadays like maybe yesterday and day before yesterday you have seen one news Uh, there are a lot of guys who is creating fake news and fake videos and all then there are uh, like social empathy is coming in this way so this is because why it is because 82% guys want to see live videos they do not want to go for like readable uh, contents suppose i am just starting blog or maybe like shiv mohan will give you okay this is the content you have to read obviously you will not you don't have a time to do so right the main thing is like if it is a visual or it is a something okay you have joined you have joined easily invest 40 45 minutes and we can gain something and 80% of the guys are do want to share everything so this is like data we have collected from from uh, reliable companies reliable resources and out of this like 73% is matured it means like if i am looking for okay this is a brand Woodland brand has introduced some specific shoes. So 73% ROI is 100% sure. It means like companies are telling that okay, out of this live streaming and all, 73% we are just gaining. We are getting like even queries or we are just uh, like mature deals and all. Next is like serve, serve your community, not just buyers. It means like this is also once again the same thing is like. we are we are creating the companies are creating it this is a marketing gimmick you can say trusted network now suppose i am giving you some 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 uber is there okay i have just joined uber and uber has sent me one message if you uh, refer someone i will give you uh, this so and so 300 rupees or 300 dirhams or something i will definitely refer somebody right 
I have, even even I have seen that so many in the family also somebody has purchased different sims, extra sims, and they have just tried to purchase that one because sims are free, and they have got a lot of calls. So so this is also once again that we are I we are creating trusted network. A trusted network. You suppose I am creating Gmail account. I am when when I am creating Gmail account, it means like it's a new account. It is it is asking me what is your refer account. It means I have to give some other account. So there should be a trusted network has already been created, right? So it means like referrals and trusted network. So so companies are more and more uh, feel free uh, and 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 feel trusted. Okay, fine. These my these guys are my guys, and now now anytime I can just send the brand and maybe like if one percent is matured for me, my deal is done. Uh, the next one is like for marketing drive results with a focus on a problem. Now focus on what it should be to customer. It means like now if I'm just going to to some company and I'm telling okay I'm just coming here to selling my uh, Oracle Fusion, the very first first question will come up okay what it should be to me, what would be the profit. So it means like I need to tell something in percentage. Okay, how much percentage of the wastage it will save. How much uh, wastage in the inventory. How much how much the percentage in the scrap values and all. Or some effort estimations. Uh, so, so many things I need to give. So it means like we are we are driving result with a focus on the problems, right? So it means like generally somebody you have seen you have seen somebody says, okay, don't come with problem, come with solutions. If you don't have a solution, come with options. I will give you the solution. So these type of things are going on right now. The next one is like subject matter expert open doors. It means like suppose. Uh, I can see 79 persons have joined this particular uh, webinar, and and maybe probably that if if we are we are we are thinking in this way. Okay, now I just wanted to uh, make myself as a subject matter expert. So F SME means like okay, suppose you are just taking care of payables, you are just taking care of receivables, but you are a master in it, or maybe like you have you have a specifically uh, experience of a receivables, but in oil and Gas industry, so you are becoming SME for them. Now, company wants you to okay come and educate, guide us that what exactly, how can we save, how can we, uh, you can you can create develop or, or create uh, some some team for me. You can uh, create develop uh, develop expertise for me. So there are so many things like you can see the these are the different different avenues has opened now after 1998. Now blockchain, I'm just not not going to touch that particular uh, using as a word Bitcoin because blockchain has a very very wide uh, aspirations and you can see this particular technology or platform is is not specific for Bitcoin. Everybody thinks blockchain means Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a one currency. That's all. This is a bit currency. This is cryptocurrency. But actually, if you think in Karnataka, I just give you a live example. In Karnataka, there are uh, like uh, I have heard from I think uh, from six months back there is one meeting by government, and government called each and every IT expert to the, in the in their meeting, and in that particular meeting only and only blockchain was the main main emphasis, and the Karnataka government wanted to know that how blockchain can help in the documentations, how can how can we. Uh, how can we make an authentication for each and everything? Like for real estate, 70% real estate is you know very well in the world. 70% real estate is, is still not tagged with the correct title. So we have a lot of things to say. Okay, now this when the blockchain is using these all things, it means like internally it is interconnected. Who has purchased this particular site at what time and before that who was the owner? Before that who was the owner? Like this. So it means like you can you can go for the complete chain. It means the or the trust build uh, between us. Okay. So these are the like scenarios and these are the like you can say the specific avenues or 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 for you can say the job positions mark available in the market. Okay. So I just wanted to give you some business trend actually. What the business is going on now? We will coming to the Oracle. Uh, that is like EBS and uh, cloud and everything because now slowly, slowly Oracle is uh, Oracle is capturing everything. Whatever we are discussing, all things are coming slowly, slowly in these. 
Okay, now here, uh, first of all, we will try to see that, okay, cloud ERP versus on-premises ERP, because I've already worked on both, so I know very well that when when client is asking, so, okay, fine, uh, whether, uh, what, why I need to purchase cloud, okay, if I, I have already uh, invested so many things in the on-premises, I have already, so, you know very well that you are working already in this particular IT industry, and you know very well that everything is slowly, slowly uh, fizzled out. It means like, okay, when we are working on 11.5.10.2, .10 slowly, slowly Oracle comes up with this particular statement, okay, we are just removing all the services from that. You have to ultimately move to Oracle Release 12. And we did, everybody did, EBS Release 12, everybody did. Now slowly, slowly everybody is coming to the Fusion. So if Fusion also having both parts. One is like on-premises, but now, now the cloud is more famous. So there is a meeting in the Oracle approximately like three months back and they have a very, very crucial meeting in this way that around all the world, all the technologies need to go to the cloud. Okay, why? Because it is like a, a layman language, you can say, oh, it is not safe because it's a public cloud. You can purchase your private cloud also, client can purchase. And you know, maybe probably you don't know that there are the seven layer securities already done by Oracle when they will provision any specific instance for one client. So seven layer is already there. But even then if you want, suppose I just give you one example for NCR in the US. So after seven year also they want one internal security and we we, we uh, provided that. That was the eighth, eighth level security. And that was specifically that they wanted to know that Anybody uh, who has who has login in my instance, whether from office, whether from mobile, whether from home, and which lap laptop, what the IP address. So that was like uh, eight level security. We did, we did, we provided. So it means like uh, there are the thousands of questions asking about like what the cloud is and what the difference between on premises and cloud. So here you can see that okay, cloud based software is hosted in the vendor server. It means like I am I am purchasing something, I am giving some money to Oracle and Oracle is specifically dedicatedly uh, working for me with a team and obviously they will provide me all the uh, access through web browser and, and uh, just when we are talking about cloud, so I will just give you one example also. Generally in NCR we have what we, uh, the client did, they have purchased three instances. Now three instances means like one for development, one for uh, test instance and uh, third one for production, okay? But now, uh, client is more clever. They are not doing all these things. They are telling, okay, only two instances is enough for me. Only one instance for production and one is for my test. Now, in this particular test, they are just going for recloning, again and again recloning, okay? When we are talking about recloning, it means like, okay, fine, when the test is, uh, CRP1 is completed, okay, CRP2 at least we can do, but when we are going to UAT, we are not going for this one. In between, whatever the time frame we are asking for, they will raise the SR request and clone it with the, uh, from their production instance. So uh, once again, your uh, instance will be free. It's a fresh instance, right? So uh, this is the facility. This is the, you can say this is the benefits when you are working on the cloud software. In on-premises, your software is already installed locally. It means like for every, uh, like whatever the computer and the, whatever the server, it needs enhancement, you have to once again uh, uh, pay the extra money to that, right? Uh, yes, there is a one question always like for capital expenditure versus operating expenditure. So this is like, because when, when we are talking about on-premises, obviously we have already shelled out a lot of money, right, when you purchase so servers and all, but this is a one-time large investment. But nobody knows that. Okay, this is a this is the end of investment. This is a start of investment because you have to do maintenance. You have to uh, put the DBAs always on the like three shift, eight eight hours, three shift. It means like 24 hours. Your server need do not need to be down any time. It's a 24 by 7 working and going on and all. And and later on, like it, if 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 something is like uh, upgraded, everything you need to upgrade even it's a software, even it's our hardware. So that is a capital expenditure, but this is a recurring type of capital expenditure. And when we are talking about cloud-based software, it means like we are talking about operating expenditure. It means like, okay, whatever the license I need to purchase, how many license we are purchasing, Oracle is charging only for that part, okay? So it means like when we are talking about cloud, it means my uh, operating ex expenditure is very limited. 
and whenever i want to expand it i can expand it whenever i just wanted to revoke the licenses i can revoke it now uh, i will just give you one example uh, live example uh, because by default whenever you are going to purchase any uh, license for software operating cloud software it will give you either 5 uh, users or 10 users okay and then after that multiples it can go to n number of users now what client is doing client is creating uh, because now everybody is cl clever now now what client is doing client is creating some uh, some uh, you can say generic type of names like finance okay sales team okay but procurement team now now night 10 licenses enough for me so anybody who wants to use a procurement so they know very well that okay when the procurement login is so and so so they are tracking in the audit trial okay when the uh, how many uh, how many users are already online so because oracle is also tracking from there when we are talking about 10 license it should not be like more than 10 user ids okay if it is 11 they will come to you and ask me okay why 11 sir there it means like you have to pay extra one license fees so this is like visa versa but even then you can say i will just give you one example for pricing for finance if you want to purchase finance it's a 600 uh, uh, per month for uh, per license uh, per user so 600 rupees is nothing for in, in indian rupees nothing is there right for so it means like you are getting all the saas you are getting all the paas services everything you are getting in this one and and all the uh, upgrades and maintenance everything is the oracle headache it's not your headache so this is this is the main difference i can see that in the capital expenditure and operating now when we are talking about like uh, uh, so how how much is like uh, cloud erp you can say the pros and cons you just wanted to understand pros and cons from here so here you can see the these are the like cost okay so there are thumbs up and thumbs down i have just noted down everything here like for cost customization security implementation obviously there is a limitation uh, in the customization in cloud erp but you know very well that now oracle is what exactly uh, oracle is doing like in the cloud they are giving you the industry specific uh, instances now what happened that when i am working on the uh, retail i know very well that this is my need so they will provide you exactly in the same way that your need would be fulfilled so it means like i can i can go for industry specific instances also so so obviously there is a, uh, no need of customization or very very minimal need of customization so i do not need to go for sandbox so sandbox is a is a tool i need to purchase if i just wanted to do customization so there is no need for that one also right and slowly slowly when they try to understand in my industry there is something specifically very very badly needed they will try to give you in the specific next patch also and there are so many er actually we can see that this particular enhancement request is already pending and they are going to give you in the 3 month patch or after 6 month patch but they are working very very hard we have we have already seen because i trust material like in fusion itself i have done 6 or 7 projects and i have seen a lot of enhancement is already done by our oracle so this is my particular experience which i am can sharing with you so when when uh, enablement of feature can remove your customization it is a best thing it is uh, i i don't think so there is no need uh, for customization in that case it's a very very rare somewhere it would be there then then we can talk to oracle and if they can provide some specific feature or work around that's good otherwise we can go for sandbox so that is different scenarios in security i have already told you we a cost we have already discussed actually in implementation we will talk in this project execution that how uh, this will this will take care now when we are talking about on premises erp so here you can see that here is also the same uh, customer cost and customization and security and implementation so they have their own Uh, plus points and they have uh, their own minus points so when you you specifically heavily depend on customization obviously uh, this would be a uh, on premise it would be good for you because you have already done so many customization but this is a full exercise to understand okay can uh, enablement of services or new features can uh, remove this customization so that was the one thing in the costing point of view I, you know very well that the cloud will be cheaper and uh, and but 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 frankly speaking that was a recurring monthly expenses 
and if you go for like a, a yearly or two year or three year or five year type of thing so they will also give you a huge discount also currently it's a, it goes to maximum 50% discount also but yes i i can understand and you you will agree with me that later part and the maybe probably in future it will be a monopoly and they will slowly slowly increase but this is a like marketing and we can't do in this uh, scenarios but yes in the when we are talking about on premises obviously we we need to face a lot of problems in the uh, in the expenses also so security is like secure yes you can say in the on premises your data is secure and everything is yours and in in your hand in cloud it is not but this is also once again not clear because we can use public cloud versus private cloud also so implementation uh, once again i will i will i will talk to okay so currently like these are the vendors which are uh, uh, already working on the clouds on premises hybrid all the things are there like sap oracle oracle has already purchased netsuite also this is also in cloud and all so this is like uh, just just to show you that what exactly is going on but now when we are talking about fusion uh, oracle fusion product family so you can see that this particular family when we are talking about this particular family you can see that uh product is 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 completely like uh, when we are when we are talking about before cloud it was 150 modules now we are seeing that okay slowly slowly oracle is coming up each and everything whatever the new uh, new features or new industries coming in the market they are just ready with their uh, with with new implementations also so they have their their own product here you can see that they have a crm they are a fusion financial fusion projects and projects also includes like uh, project foundation project costing project billing in the in the specific uh, government uh, uh, compliance also i have seen 27 uh, more than 27 countries they have already do the localizations also in the fusion procurement fusion supply chain okay so uh, the second portion here you can see that this is a fusion middleware so here is also like bi and all we will i will try to show you the comparison between these uh, in the in the coming slides uh, coming uh, webinars and all because there are a lot of new things like you can see the soa suites and vpm suites are there earlier earlier what happened that we are working with the uh, pl and sql but now now this is also one open uh, open thing for middleware components for for all the technicals uh, and the database uh, again because oracle is also all, already famous for uh, database so it means like uh, uh, their database is very very strong from since since they have started working in market so i i don't have any uh, doubt in this particular now when we are talking about oracle fusion versus oracle ebs so this is a very uh, uh, like you can see there were only one slider here you can see that uh, efficiency features we are just trying to go for attributes and all efficiency features workflow reports uh, business intelligence user interface application server architecture database okay so these things you can see that the first row will tell you that what first column will show you oracle fusion application what is exactly the and and the second uh, uh, power, uh, second column is showing like e business suites so here in the third you can see that uh, what exactly just i was talking for bpel that is business process execution language is introduced there earlier what happened in the ebs we are using plsql and all now the reports are in br publisher xml reports and you can see in fusion that uh, in in n number of formats you can do uh, like uh, download the reports but earlier what only the uh, bi publisher we need to purchase license earlier the fsgs were there so so there are a lot of changes also in uh, in in fusion you can see the adf pages are there, their java service pages are there earlier what happened that we have to use oracle forms and all so there are a lot of changes in architecture also so i just do not want to go for more technical in this case now the second portion is project execution so this is very interesting for everybody whomsoever is uh, working in implementation or who just uh, done a mba and just wanted to start career with the business analysis and all so here you can see that i have just give you one small uh, uh, complete scenario of one organization what exactly they are looking for they are they if they want to go for complete all so it means like whatever the green you have seen they have to purchase this license okay so it means like sales cloud and they have to purchase license project management and finance and marketing cloud and all okay so it means like you have to purchase 
the license whatever you want suppose i just go for phase by phase implementation it means like first of all i just wanted to start with finance so finance is already coming with five modules okay my glap ar cash management features everything is there even expenses are also there so six modules are already covered in finance only so i can go for first of all i just wanted to purchase finance i can see everything is fine in one year one uh, my one first closing is good now after that i can slowly to slowly move to procurement i can go to supply chain management order management so and so so these are the things like this phase by phase you can do but this is the one picture i have just trying to show you that everything can be done in the in this particular oracle fusion erp now when when we are talking about these thing it is a finalized scope so first of all if you are going for implementation it means like you want to pro execute your project okay so this when we are talking about project execution it means like i need to finalize the scope first of all with the client so i just try to give you the uh, the the scenarios like maybe like what modules are there second is how many reportings i am just going to give the free of cost after that suppose in the in the second uh, column you can see uh, second row you can see the 10 standard reports available right but this is out of out of the box but suppose it comes with the 20 reports it means like on the 10 reports is the chain management i need to purchase i need to they need to pay for me okay so, so this is a complete scope when we are talking about like uh, uh, these management and all they will come up with the some suppose approvals okay if there is a uh, simple approval which can be simply satisfied with this organization hierarchy it's okay but if it is a complex i need to use the bpl obviously i'm i'm just going to change and my mind and i need to ch charge for that one so these i what exactly you can see currently in this particular slide i can give you the guarantee of the implementation can be done in 90 days so this is one sample but if scope is bigger it can be more 6 months 5 months 6 months 7 months 8 months it can goes to n number of months and here you can see this uh, the uh, execution strategy just just i try to give you the high level because first of all you want to go and uh, to the client side and want to discover what exactly analyze and all you want you just wanted to show see the as is actually so you will document if the document is not ready obviously you have to prepare the document as is and all what the core team training and all and everything you need to give so uh, like i mean in in this particular section you can design everything whatever ready for your next next uh, to be implementation part so here also like so a lot of things are there like designing testing training deployment and the crps and all and, and if there is support would be there it's okay otherwise that can be uh, completed with first month and closers and uh, the next one i just wanted to show you that particular section is like uh, okay so this is like project timeline so what exactly we were discussing in the previous slide this is like project timeline approach so we just try to see everything and put it here so this particular thing is telling you like, okay when you will start discovery how many week you want and how many week you want for crp 1 crp 2 crp 3 uat and so and so okay and then goes for support and all so these are the main things actually i i, I think uh, Uh, that was the main thing we need to discuss today so thank thanks for uh, listening me and i think i'm just uh, handing over to shift for for further discussions thanks shift thank you thanks uh, thanks neelaj for taking this so big topic uh, so uh, friends uh, just to give you perspective uh, uh, we wanted to cover two topics today one is what are the business factors in term of current trends and future trends that uh, neeraj covered uh, in term of you know upcoming trends and what he thinks right now you know kind of hot topics or or, or hot areas where uh, you know lot of things are happening and especially happening in erp also so you will see lot of changes this year next year and your year onward on blockchain or social erp or artificial intelligence machine learning robotics in erp domain so thanks neeraj for that and project execution model that he shown that is highly used and highly adoptive nowadays for all of the companies uh, working in cloud erp 
Okay. Now I will ask uh, Tarun uh, if he is online uh, to give his perspective and you know his thoughts on these two topics, and uh, then we will open you know our forum for question answer. So, Tarun, I am making you unmute. Can you speak something? I don't know if you are there. Uh, Tarun, uh, if you have joined uh, through phone, then I need to know your phone number. Friend, just give me a minute. Uh, meantime, I'm just checking. Tarun. Okay, guys. I think uh, meanwhile you know, there is some this problem. Uh, what I will do? I'm putting him on mute, and let's see if we you know take up some questions now. So, if you have any questions, just type in chat window, and with Neeraj we will take uh, some of the questions, and I can also try to pitch in in those questions. So you can type it. I I know there is I know there's a lot of noise is coming. Try now. Tarun, I am unmuted on your, uh, I think on your login, not able to join now. Okay, let's take questions now. Uh, Neeraj, uh, Neeraj, are you online? Can you speak? So, uh, first of all, Amir, I think you are asking for that particular uh, scripts and all. So generally what happened that uh, this is not a technical call but uh, in the uh, next webinar definitely uh, we will give you this particular section so how how easy it would be and how difficult it would be and we will uh, we will share the experience our experience as a technical because the next webinar would be purely technical and the technical experts would be there the second question is i can see that why oracle is changing fusion version frequently so generally what happened that it is completely based on uh, uh, maturity. So, so you can see when when I and this particular Oracle application is not only for one industry. This is and for entire uh, industry, right? So when I am working on a pro, uh, payment gateways and all, but I have a different type of scenarios. Okay. So 
uh, there could be some reasons that my specific patch is coming to my instance. It is not necessary that they are giving every everybody that the same patch. But generally, like three months, one month, three months, six months, uh, these type of uh, uh, patches are obviously there. And whatever the maturity level would be, they are find the bugs or they are, maybe there are some ERs they want to give everybody. Like okay, now this particular ER is fixed. And this particular year should be fruitful and beneficial for every industry. Then they will, the patches would be there. So this is very very good for us. You remember when uh, in the EBS days we need to request for these type of patches and they give us okay fine after one month after two months they can provide us. Now they are doing it frequently. I think this is a good for us. Okay, good. So one of the questions, um, Neeraj, if you if you can take uh, if you see my screen, um, yep. some of the questions are mentioned there. So if you can take up any of these questions, these are like uh, uh, submitted. I think I think it's a it's a. I cannot see your screen. This is only one. I think uh, I can see only first slide or fourth slide. Fourth slide I can see. Can you put? Oh, okay, 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 got it. So I'm not sharing my whole screen. Let me stop screen sharing. Yes, I need to share my. Okay. 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 I can see now. Okay, so Amir, Amir, actually you are talking about Oracle Soar. I think we don't have a much uh, details on that. I know very well that is recently launched, and uh, we will we will come on that particular topic also. I think that is a very good suggestion. I think just Shimon, you can note it. We can have a one webinar for Oracle Soar also. Sure. So okay, friends. I am just going for that question submitted. Okay, so what is this? I am wondering, do you have interview? I interview question bank or Oracle Cloud procurement. Uh, specifically for cloud, I think we don't have any dump. Uh, do you agree, Shimon? I have never seen that type of dump. Okay, so friends, uh, this is for everyone. I I generally don't answer questions on uh, on two things. One is on the job seeking. Suddenly, I don't know. Second, I don't know. Boundary, boundary. Hmm. So I generally don't answer questions on uh, certification dump and job seeking. Uh, so my answer is no, I don't have any interest. Next question is okay, some noise. So Nira, please take your question. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay, fine. So the second question is on the cloud service offering such as SaaS, PaaS, and IaaS, which is a service type used for the middle size or large. See, this is not, not nothing to do with like the type uh, of that one. So when we are talking about like uh, uh, SaaS, it means like software as a service. Okay, so it means like when when I am giving, I am purchasing license. Okay, so uh, they are they are providing me all the software details and everything and all. Okay, so PaaS means like platform as a service. It, 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 it means like uh, they are giving me the platform. It means like, so this is a combination. You can't, you can't uh, bifurcate it that SaaS, PaaS and IaaS uh, is, is completely different. It is a complete, you can say one package. And when you are giving the license fees, it means like all things are coming here for you. It's specifically a cloud service uh, offering. So this is, this can be used for mid-size also, large-size also and all. And who are the top five companies that are popular among the client in India and U.S.? So, so this question so I couldn't question understand what the top five companies. So top companies uh, specifically for implementation point of view, for user point of view, what exactly here uh, uh, this question is there. Uh, I, I couldn't understand what top top companies. I couldn't understand. What are the main considerations for client to select service provider based subscription cost, scalability, and security? The main consideration is uh, one thing is like uh, 
we are we are like getting get rid of a lot of patches and all right second thing is we are get riding of uh, customizations because service features enablement is there third thing is like costing okay there is a costing also security is also one thing because we have already seen that we have i think we have done I, I, if if i go for my experience i have already done seven implementation in fusion and i can never heard about any security breach okay so once again like it is it is everything i think uh, for for cloud point of view if you are going to purchase your private cloud it is more secure even if it's a public cloud cloud also have a seven layer of securities okay the next question is like, as we all know upgrade from erp to fusion made is easiest to become automated could you please tell us that's why i have told you that this will be a technical question and we will take it uh, uh, the next webinar any strategy to convince and uh, pull on premise customer to cloud okay specifically major client who have n number of customization definitely a huge challenge but in queues okay now see i i i guarantee you that uh, one uh, one the day will come every big company is coming to there because we have seen approximately like 50 to 60% rise in our internal projects uh, details i'm just i'm working on my company and i know very well that uh, yesterday itself i have i have uh, just joined the hands on meeting uh, in in particularly in the cloud projects also because my company is only and only working in cloud and we have a jump in 50% uh, cloud base so definitely the the day will come everybody will come the only strategy i can i can convince you here is that you have to go by phase by phase implementation okay maybe like you just try to see that what the pain areas they are facing right now and go and suggest okay just start with this one okay when when they are because he uh, as a finance expert i can tell you that finance is a Uh, very very stable since 11.5.10.2 10.2 to till date so if you go for finance it means like finance is there is no doubt you do not have to think twice you just go and uh, tell okay finance is the first one because everything is coming to gl okay so all the all the like supply chain and every wherever all the modules are doing whatever the thing at last it is coming to gl okay so this what was the strategy for us that okay if uh, they are like they have a pain in finance because maximum companies are facing pain in finance just go and suggest okay because finance cloud is very very cheap also they can see the uh, the difference the, what exactly they were doing and now they can do because in 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 my experience everybody wants okay all the report need to come in excel sheet we will just try to uh, play with the pivot table now oracle fusion has already given you okay just wherever in in wherever form you just wanted to go and just uh, go and search and just download in the excel sheet okay so this would be the strategy i think so that was a very very good strategy for you to okay now what is the life span of cloud project is very less when compared to ebs correct yeah uh, because i told you that we have done uh, one project, project called byforce in malaysia in 30 days also okay and we have done one project in uh, on premises uh, uh, europe and uh, it took approximately like 12 months also so it's completely depend on like how uh, okay in our tool it was possible to integrate with otm yes 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 but but but, but see the if you if you are talking about otm otm is very very strong in oracle fusion cloud i am telling you because my company is a specialist in otm and when oracle comes with any of the deal they directly uh, do go to the uh, we call to the inspirage guys okay come and uh, see this particular uh, otm uh, uh, client is there and just go so there yes this is a very very good and uh, i i am i am 100% sure this this question is an affirmative what is the market share for release 12 and cloud and also the active now now see the thing is that you know very well i in the very first uh, uh, i i in in the initial lecture i just clearly told you that slowly slowly everything will be moving forward okay what what if the day will come or, and oracle will tell you that you have to forcefully from uh, you forcefully upgrade from release 12 to oracle cloud okay so obviously like they are also facing a lot of pain when they are giving you services even they are charging or maybe probably there is a lifetime services also 
all right so they will force you so the client will automatically go go and and the, once again the same thing is is the release 12 is also in the cloud they will not get all the features whatever the fusion is preparing and because this is a like uh, this is a like like patches are coming every 3 months the patches are coming so four patches are already there and definitely this is a mandatory patch so obviously like you are getting a lot of new features but in release 12 it is nothing correct Okay, is it uh, possible for a move to pass to SaaS? I asked to pass pass. See, uh, this is a technical question. Frankly speaking, you have to you have to work with SOA guys and you have to work with ICS. So these two things would be there, and technical people can give you answer for for that particular. Uh, till when Oracle is going to support EBS? So when companies should get target and move to? So I don't have any specific because I, we are not selling Oracle here, but we are working and we are expertise in Oracle. But we have not got any specific last date, frankly speaking, uh, because till now we have seen that uh, uh, it's a, like uh, services are working and there is no specific dates and given. But when client will see that Oracle Fusion is giving a lot of things, obviously client will automatically move from upgrade from EBS to uh, to this one. So, but anyway, so. So thanks, Neeraj, uh, to taking all the questions, and thanks everybody to you know participating and asking question actively. So perfect. Uh, now I I just like to thanks everyone and uh, just to give some information uh, so that uh, for future it could be helpful for uh, all of us. We would be having more sessions coming in. Uh, let me see if you can see my screen now. Okay. So we planning to have a more session, more webinars on a specific topics like you know technical trends and career guidance, or going into deep dive into reporting or deep dive into you know new technologies or any areas uh, like accounting or reporting. So okay. So another question is what is the fusion future for mobility? So future is good. Uh, uh, for mobility it is good because more and more features and application would be coming on mobile uh, especially for tab or mobile phone or ios so it's good it is possible for aws and microsoft cloud for oracle ebs or oracle fusion cloud for fusion cloud uh, oracle can answer but ebs yes a lot of company use ebs on aws nowadays Okay, uh, is it possible here? Yeah, it's the same question. Okay, so just to give some updates, uh, uh, in case if you have any questions or you like to connect me uh, through WhatsApp or sending me questions on uh, for future, uh, you know, whether you like to uh, join a team as an expert or you like to join webinars as attendees, then just keep uh, connected with me on email address shimon.proit.gmail.com and this is my WhatsApp number. Uh -huh. We have Facebook group also, so you can join us on Facebook and I have online blog also. So that's it for tonight and I'm sure uh, it's already past one hour, so I'm sure everybody gets some knowledge, some understanding, some awareness and uh, hope uh, you know we will meet again with new topics, with new experts and with new friends. So thanks, uh, good night, good day. And take care everyone, stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just disconnecting everybody from meeting. Uh, thanks. In case if you have more questions, connect me on WhatsApp, send me email, um, you know, and or join our Facebook group. Thank you very much.